Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses RC to get kids excited about math and science. And here we are today taking another look at our ECX Ruckus Brushless. This is definitely our go to in terms of uh, just bashing and letting kids drive this thing. It, uh, it has really stood up uh, to the test of time and just a lot of brutal crashes and whatnot. Um, despite a, a couple of issues that we've uh, resolved, this thing has been just rock solid. Uh, one of the things is that um, the, uh, the the hinge pins in here um, do or have come loose. We've they're, they're actually two screws that one that goes in top, one that goes in bottom, and uh, we've I should probably tighten these particular ones up. We've actually lost a couple of these, a um, couple drops of super glue. Uh, before you screw that into the uh, the steering knuckle there is uh, is a known fix for this issue. Um, the screws are special shoulder screws, so if you lose them, you've got to get um, direct replacements from ECX slash uh, Horizon Hobbies there, or your your local hobby shop that carries them. And they're quite, um, you know, they're not expensive, but if you lose enough of them, they become a pain in the butt. Um, this truck, we've, we have the upgraded shocks on these have held up very well uh, the plastic ones uh, not so well evidently they're, they're just not um, the shaft isn't very well supported uh, from a structural standpoint inside the shock so uh, with the plastic body ones you you, uh, you, you got to just keep an eye on them or they leak um, definitely recommend upgrading them to the ECS the ECX upgrades or um, just another shock altogether I haven't tried the Traxxas shocks on them yet, but um, perhaps uh, one, on one of our other um, uh, ECX trucks we might do that. The uh, the wheel the wheels are are really nice from the factory, but the hexes are are a bit soft. You can see this one um, just uh, rounded off a little bit. That's why we run them in the front. We run the Pro Line trenchers in the rear. Um, but uh, we, we, we have a couple of sets of these that we've uh, just stripped out or ha have had that wheel hex just round off and kind of weld itself into the, the wheel itself. So uh, keep an eye on those. Make sure that you have your, um, your, your wheel nuts uh, just properly tightened and uh, make sure to use some thread lock on there so that those wheel nuts don't back out. Uh, but besides that, oh, one other thing is that, you know, so this one we're, we're running the, the, the stock steel gears that come on the brushless. Um, if you have a brush and you want to convert it over to a brushless, definitely can, uh, you want to throw in those, the, the uh, metal gear set there. Um, the half shafts are, are a known weakness too. People will upgrade these to Traxxas half shafts, which we've done, as well as... Um, using the the uh, Traxxas metal yoke here. Uh, I don't have the exact part number, but we we have covered that in one of our previous videos. So, um with those upgrades, this is the uh, the half shafts have actually stood up um to some some good abuse here. Uh the trenchers we we actually had one of these blow out. Um my uh my son was driving it and just uh going full throttle, going up, uh, you know, trying to climb up a, a, a sidewalk there, and it actually tore the tire. We, we should probably get some glue on there to, to patch it up, but uh, it, it literally exploded with water flinging out too. So um, there's there's definitely water in these, these uh, wheels and tires. We're, we're gonna poke some holes in them. Um, gonna try using a soldering iron, see if that works to just burn some uh, cauterized holes in these um, tires so that the, the water can be released there. So uh, we'll, we'll do that in a, pre, uh, in a following episode, but um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you next time.